It's been a sad day at Eastville as the spades went in to lift up the old playing surface in preparation for tomorrow's auction. In its 100-year history, the old ground has been home to many memories, like those of former winger Harold Jarman, who came along today to mark the passing of an era. Well, Harold, you played football here in three separate decades, so this must be a rotten day for you watching the pitch getting cut up. Well, it's a rotten day just to see the stadium like it, like it is, because it was... We, always, we were always very proud of it. We, it was a, at the beginning of the season, it was always painted, and there were flower beds, and, you know, there was a great deal of hope as well. To see it like this now, it's, it, it's very sad. Before everything has gone for good, Rovers commissioned artist Ian Cryer to capture the scene at Eastville as it was when Harold was playing. Now, we've got Harold Jarman out on the right wing. Is it a faithful copy? He said it is, yes, yes. He uh, had a look at it a few weeks ago and uh, he recognised everything. I really wanted to get all the sort of symbolic um, emblems of the brand, particularly the gas works, the things that people remember. So I had to sort of pull things and exaggerate things to, uh, to get everything in. One of the men digging up the pitch is called Doug, and as a Rovers fan, he's sorry to see it go. All those years ago when you used to watch here, did you ever imagine that you'd be standing here one day and ripping the pitch apart? No, not ever. It's like a landmark, and it always will be a landmark for loads and loads of people. Chris Rawlings is in a national groundsman competition at the weekend and should know if the turf is worth the money. It's a good sward, there's no thatch in it, there's a bit of weed in there, so you wouldn't actually use it on a golf green, but for a 10 pain, not bad at all. One, two, three. By special arrangement, Rovers have let me buy the penalty spot at the tote end. So groundsman Chris and I are marking out 12 yards. We got it? Yep. All right, fellas, we dig here. There it is. Excellent. Let's pop it in his box. And here it is in the studio. It's the actual penalty spot from Eastville, and it's just one of our prizes in tonight's special competition. The other prize is a framed print of the stadium taken from the original and signed by the artist Ian Cryer, which Bristol Rovers have kindly brought into the studio. Here's Harold Jarman himself to ask the question. Which famous Brazilian footballer replaced myself in New for New York Cosmos in 1975? Was it A, Polo? B. Pele or C. Pilau? 